apply norton's theorem to calculate the current flowing through 5 ohm resistor of figure we have to calculate current flowing through this 5 ohm resistance using norton's theorem solution let's say this is terminal a and this is terminal b so between terminal a and b rl is equal to 5 ohm for norton's equivalent circuit we have to find rn that is norton's resistance and in that is norton's current so first we will find norton's resistance that is rn so to find rn we have to turn off all the independent sources and remove this rl so first we will remove this rl and between terminal a and b this will be our rn and we have to turn off this independent voltage source now when we turn off independent voltage source that time it will be short circuited so this will be short circuited now we have to calculate this rn so here we can see this 12 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel so 12 ohm parallel with 6 ohm so this will be 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6 12 into 6 divided by 12 plus 6 so it is 4 ohm so we can replace these two resistors with single 4 ohm resistor so this will be of 4 ohm now here we can see this 10 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series so this will be 14 ohm so 14 ohm now it is in parallel with this 5 ohm so this will be 14 into 5 divided by 14 plus 5 so therefore rn is equal to 14 into 5 divided by 14 plus 5 so it is 3.68 3.68 ohm is the value for rn now next we have to find i n so to find to find i n we have to remove this r l first so first we will remove this r l then we have to short circuit the terminal a and b that is we have to short circuit r l now the current is i n so if we have to find this current and this will be our i n that is norton's current now here we can see this 10 ohm is in series with 12 ohm parallel with 6 ohm and it is short circuited from here to here this hole is short circuited so its value will be zero so we can remove these resistors so it will be like this Now we can simplify this I n by using Ohm's law. I n is equal to V by R. Now V here is 30 volt and R is 5 Ohm. So therefore I n is equal to 30 divided by 5 is 6 ampere. So 6 ampere is the value for I n. Now we have the value for i n r n and r l so from this we can draw norton's equivalent circuit so for norton's equivalent circuit this will be i n and parallel to i n this will be r n and parallel to r n this will be our r l 
this is R L, this is R N, and this is I N. The value for I N is six ampere. The value for R N is three point six eight ohm, three point six eight ohm, and the value for R L is five ohm. Now we have to find current through this five ohm, so this will be I L. This is called Norton's equivalent circuit. Now here again we can use current division rule. So by using current division rule, I L is equal to this current that is six ampere multiplied by opposite branch resistance that is three point six eight divided by 3.68 plus 5, 3.68 plus 5. So this is the current division rule. So this will be 6 into 6 multiplied by 3.68 divided by 3.68 plus 5. So it is 2.54, 2.54 ampere. This is the value for I L. So therefore. I L is equal to two point five four ampere. So what we have to find? We have to find apply Norton's theorem to calculate the current flowing through five ohm resistor of figure. So we have to find five ohm resistance current. So therefore, the current through this five ohm resistor is two point five four ampere. So this is our final answer.